In this video, I wanted to talk about how to build a CLI in Node and publish it on NPM so that the people can install and run them. So to give an example, what we are going to build today is um, a CLI packaged by the name build and publish Node CLI. And as soon as people install it, so we can in install it globally, npmi-g. And if I install this package, this is a CLI and let's make sure that it's installed so I can run the version command. So the package version is published and we can do stats package react. So it will give this uh, uh, downloads in the last month of that particular package. To show its work, we can also change. So we can do Angular. So Angular had these many downloads. So yeah, let's get started. To get started, I would um, create a new folder. So mkdir by the same package name, build and publish node CLI. Uh, build and publish CLI. Let's go in here. Make it a little bigger. Now that we are in that folder, uh, I'll just open it in VS Code. Currently it's empty. Let's make it a uh, node package. So let's do yarn init and hyphen y. So yarn init asks questions like what should be the package name and stuff and hyphen y would actually just say uh, yes to them or uh, keep the default answer. So it's easy easy to get created to create this so now that it is created let's create a our cli so it will be cli.js file could be anything just making it cli.js and now now uh, to run any file in as an executable we need a environment for it and for node files it's the standard environment which is this uh, user bin uh, environment node uh, and just add it on the top it's called shebang so once that is added we can test whether it's working or not so let's do console.log test now um, we'll see that if we try to execute this file it will give an error so if i do cli.js it gives an error with permission denied which means we don't have permission to execute this why let's check the permission of this file if an l cli.js so now we can see the permissions so it's read we can read it we can write it but the third one is blank and the third one is the executable part so it has to be x to make it executable so what we can do is see change modify and plus x so it will add the executable permission to that file cli.js now if we do ls so we can see executable permission has been added now if i run that file we can see console log is printed and it's done uh, there's another entry we need to do for npm and node pa packages that we publish we need to add a bin entry so it defines where the binary is for this file and i'll just do cli.js it's in cli.js now that part is done so now we want to build a cli which works something like this so user should be give a uh, rcli so rcli is build publish cli and they should be able to pass stats and package and the name of package so um, i'm gonna use a package called yags why yags so just let's just install it cool now that's installed, so we can let's just import it. So there was a mishap, I think I clicked yes on the default suggestion we didn't want that so i removed it uh 
we are going to also import a, a hide bin from helpers so that helps to hide the bin command and uh, give us a clear input with what we need helpers so this will hide bin now uh, what we can do very easily is yags hide bin and we already saw like as we know like uh, in process dot argv we get the uh, input from the user argv so but just pass that and then we can attach command to it so let's attach a command called stats async and for now let's just log console.log stats call and to make it work we need to parse it so parse would actually call it this is done so that you can attach commands from multiple modules and everything and in the current just call one parse but in this case it's a simple cli just one file just let's do that so now if i do cli and do stats invalid second argument okay that's interesting oh i i know what happened so in in command the second argument is the help message for this particular command and it was expected so invalid second argument we wanted a string to be so it's a helper so uh, we can just do uh, get the stats of a package we run it again yeah so now we can see stats call that's great now um, to get the stats of a package npm gives a uh, api so api is this api npm js.org downloads point last month and then the name of package so we can just use that and to use to make an api call we are gonna use a package called isomorphic unfetch that will give us the fetch so yarn add isomorphic unfetch and just let's import fetch from it require isomorphic unfetch and now in here what we can do is we need to pull the name of package so uh, we need to accept args here now destructure the object to get the args and uh, then from args just pull the package and args now um, let's just console log it and to check sorry so stats uh, package args is undefined because we didn't pass anything uh, we'll fix that sorry it's argv not args react so we get the packages react now since we get the package react so let's pull the stats for it so let's do constant response uh, await fetch and we can just call this path now we need to get the data from it so uh, await response.json now since we got the data we can do console.log uh, the package had a total of data dot downloads downloads last month cool uh I think we are done with CLI. It should work now. So let's do it. 
awesome so it gives the uh, uh, downloads for react for last month now uh, there are a couple of other things uh, i usually highly recommend and do in cli is error management and also giving suggestion of proper help message uh, by the way yags already handles help for us so if i do dot uh, cli js help so it should show that okay we have commands as stats and get the stats of package so if you add more commands with help message it will add those also now uh, something we have should do is error handling so if we do package is undefined then uh, let's just log error uh, console.log error console.log error uh, package option is required and let's return from here so that further the code doesn't get executed so now if i do cli stats but don't pass package so we'll get an error package or option is required but if we add package we'll get the stats for that package uh that's great now that we have done with it uh let's ship it so to ship it uh the first thing we need to do is log in into our npm account uh if you don't have one just go to npmjs.com this npmjs.com and create an account i already have one and i'm logged in with my account so let's log in in rcli also npm login and npm is installed with node so you should already have it if you have node and password my email and it's like uh, my one-time password on my email so let me just check and fill it in yeah so i'm logged in now the next thing i would do is uh, right now the package is on version one let's just make it npm version uh, major so what npm version major does is it adds a npm sorry i did npm npm version major so it what it does is it increases the version of uh, the package here and it also adds a tag and uh, a commit don't have git but it adds a tag in here so we don't have git or else it would have asked but it adds a tag which you can release and similar you can do npm version minor so it will make it 2.1 and uh, if you do npm version patch it will do it 2.11 and so this part is done and now we need to publish it so all we need to do is npm pack uh, npm pack gives us like how it would look and package and everything and we can just do npm publish in here so it will handle npm pack and everything for us so now if we so we can see the packet size is this uh, unpacked size is one kilobyte and when they download it will become this so now if i go to npm js and look for this package got published but it doesn't show up as the latest version it shows my old one so by the way like uh, just publishing it from cli with publish it we don't need to come to uh, npm js and create package there first or anything like that so npm publish should publish it let's refresh it again maybe it's taking some time um, by the way this also yarn is another artifactory so oh not so not this yarn js so yarn is just a package manager so all, all npm packages are published here also um oh new packages and version may not show up in interface due to an ongoing incident so there's an npm incident going on okay This was on 25th May. C 
seems old. Um, guess it should show up. You know what? Uh, maybe it's the incident. Let's download and let's see if the latest version is getting downloaded. So I would do npm hi hyphen g and the package name. So now if I do version, yeah, so the latest got downloaded, which we just published, which is good. So you can now ask the people to actually just do npm i hyphen g your package name and then run version and then they can actually run the commands on it cli stats package react awesome so this was for today's session and uh, please let me know in comments if you have any questions or you want to connect and uh, if there's any topic that you have in mind i should cover next uh, also check out the youtube description for the code code for this uh, particular repository I'll publish it on GitHub and tag it here. Thank you.